Our US President Joe Biden, he's maintaining his activity on the campaign trail. Today he went to the battleground state of Pennsylvania. That's despite increasing calls for him to drop out of the presidential race. Biden attended Sunday church service in Philadelphia during his latest campaign stop. And he joked about his age as well as his imperfections as he addressed the church to try and put minds at ease. You know, I've been doing this a long time. And I, honest to God, have never more optimistic about America's future if we stick together. Yeah. I really mean it. Here's what else I've learned, and many of you have learned. You walk your faith as well. We're all imperfect beings. Yeah, well, we are. But our prayer is going to be enough. Let's go to our U.S. analyst, Michael Ware. What are your thoughts on that? We've got a bit to catch up on here, Michael. So, yeah, he's gone to church. So <laughs> will it be enough? Yeah, I think it's going to take a little bit more than prayer because President Biden and his campaign is simply in an absolute world of hurt. And we've even seen just this weekend about half a dozen congressmen and congresswoman from his party come out and say he should either step down or she, he should seriously start thinking about it. And the political reporting is that really... This is his decision that he's decided only he's going to make. He said it's between him and the Lord Almighty. <laughs> the pundits say the First Lady, Jill Biden, may be the only person who really has his ear. But to be honest, we've not seen in American history an incumbent president win re-election with only a 36% yeah. approval rating. And in many ways, this is reminiscent, I think, of 1968, where Lyndon Johnson, in the face of opposition to the Vietnam War, he pulled out before he was nominated for the running for the Democratic Party. Now, it's much more complicated because if President Biden does pull out, he already has the nomination, and so that will lead to a contested uh, convention in six weeks yeah. with some Democrats hoping for a sort of uh, a midterm primary in the lead up. Either way, Michael, it's chaos for the Democrat Party, right? I mean, not, this is what we're talking about now. If Biden stays the course, I mean, these questions are just going to dog him all the way in. And if he steps aside, presumably it's Kamala Harris. She's on the ticket. She's got the campaign finances, some 200 million there. And so that's going to be chaos as other, other Democrats probably try and get a piece of the pie as well. Well, that's why some of the Democrats and about half of registered Democrats do not want to see President Biden Sick. run for re-election. But that's why if they say had uh, a mid-primary, you could see Kamala Harris on a debate stage up against other Democratic opponents. And even if Kamala Harris were to assume the Democrat Party nomination. The, the other question is, who would be her running mate? And there's lots of names being bandied about, one of whom is the uh, governor of Pennsylvania, which is a key swing state, and he's very popular there, but he doesn't have national name recognition. Another potential running mate is Gretchen Whitmer, yeah. She's the governor of Michigan, and some believe that she could pull in not just Michigan, but other Rust Belt states like Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. So it's an absolute dog show yeah. what's going on right now within the Democratic well, she, um, Party. She couldn't choose Newsom, right? Because as I understand it, you can't have two from the same state on the same ticket. Yeah, and the other thing about Newsom is he's just not nationally popular. As one pundit said to me, or one campaign advisor said to me, you know, he wouldn't help them pull in a lot of votes because he represents to a lot of independents and, and, you know, these educated suburban women that either candidate's going to need so desperately to be such a figure of the West Coast that he wouldn't be able to gain national traction.